G'day guys, Pete here. Not playing Minecraft for a change. In fact, you guys asked for it and here it is. I'm giving you guys a tutorial on how I go through the recording and editing process. Now, mainly because you got a lot of you guys asked me, you know, can you look at my channel, Pete? Can you can you say this for me? Can you can you see what I'm doing? And 90% of the time I give editing feedback. And I don't mind doing it. That's not the problem. The problem is that you guys probably don't know how to do the editing feedback I give. So here it is. This is my workflow on how I record and how I set up my programs. So quite simply, we'll start off with the X story. And this here it is. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So I don't change anything in the first window. Now DX story isn't a free program. You have to pay for it, I'm pretty sure. It's not expensive and it's worth every penny. And I'm sure there's ways to get it for free. I'm not going to tell you how they are because you shouldn't do it. You should support these guys. But yeah, the first window, you don't need to change any settings. The second one, I don't change either. The next one, now this is the, the folder setting. So this is where you set your recording folder. Now I have a dedicated drive, my F drive, which is a, a two terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. Uh, I believe they are the fastest ones you can get other than an SSD. And I have it dedicated to just my recordings and my videos. This means I have a nice fast hard drive that's not getting used unless I'm recording, which is handy dandy. And as you can see, I did a speed test and it wrote at 132 megabytes a second. Brilliant. That's plenty. Now, all I do in the hotkey settings is I don't change that because it's actually really convenient with my uh, Logitech G G110 or G110, I guess you could call it. Because <laughs> um, I got the G keys on the right, on the left. So I just bump that one and off I go and recording. I don't have a, any of the screenshot buttons bound because if you touch them, sometimes when you're recording, it'll stop your recording. It'll ruin it, and it'll do all kinds of damn things for you, and I don't like it. So they're gone. Scary. Done. Next one is, of course, a movie settings tab. Now, I use something called the Lagerif Lossless Codec. Now, that's free, easy to install, quick to install, easy to put into DXTory. I don't need to show you how to do it, because literally you install it, you load DXTory, and it's there in your drop-down menu. Easy, right? Cool. Now, I make sure I'm at 29.97 frames. That's simply because that's what YouTube displays at. That's the uh, that's the frame rate it'll always go at. So if you do more, YouTube has to bring it down, which will ruin your quality. If you do less, YouTube tries to bring it up, which again, ruins your quality. So if you focus on what they do, it's set. I don't change the output, I just leave it at file output and AVI. Don't change it. Uh, include mouse cursor, I normally have ticked, I don't know why it wasn't ticked then, I think I might unticked it for a uh, video I was doing. <coughs> Excuse me. It just means you can see your um, you can see your mouse cursor when you're recording, which is handy. Uh, I always make sure scaling is set to size, and I always make sure it's set to 128 by 720 because that's the resolution that I always record and edit at. And the uh, the lagger of codec settings, you don't need to change much. I just tick null frames. Uh, excuse me again, <laughs> and uh, use multi-threading, and I also make sure it's in. YV12 setting. Now these I found are the easiest way for best performance, smallest file size, and best quality. All mixed in the one. These three options there. Do it. Perfect. All right. And that's all I change here. You know, I leave it as much as I can the same. Now with audio here, I've got channel one, which is my speakers, and channel two, which is my snowball, my microphone. Now I'll show you why you have the two different channels like that later. Now. Screenshots you don't need to change. You can untick, tick that, do whatever you want because I don't use it at all. Uh, the next next one is just the advanced settings. I have a i5 CPU and still the flu. Uh, I always just make sure I do use all four cores when I'm recording just to make sure I get the most performance out of the XTORI that I can. Um, I don't change any of the global settings and this page here just says that I've registered it because I have. I brought it. All right. Done. That's all it is. Now, Minecraft settings. That's this one. So we'll just load Minecraft real quick. This is the new launcher, and I reckon the new launcher is perfect for people that want to do video recording. Because in the olden days, you had to uh, use another program to make sure your screen size is right and all that kind of jazz, and it was a pain in the butt. But now we can do all those kind of arguments and settings and whatnot in the profile thing. So I created a profile. I've called it Lism, which is what I used to be called. Lism. All right, that's me. Now, don't change the game directory. I do change the resolution and make sure again it's set to 128 by 720. Again, because that's what I record at. 
uh, that there I don't really care. You can tick it, untick it. Same with that one. These these ones here don't really affect my. Um, oh, excuse me again. Uh, don't affect my recording. But what I have done here is on my JVM arguments, this is Java Virtual Machine. I've made sure I've got negative capital M lowercase uh, capital X lowercase M lowercase X five capital G. All that does is make sure that Java makes sure it takes 5 gig of RAM from the system and uses it for Minecraft only. Because I think by default it's 512 and that's just, it's not enough. For, especially when you're recording and you're doing building and you've got mob farms or whatever going. It's going to use up that RAM really quick. And that's all I changed there. And then when I go play, it'll play in a 720p window. So I record like this. This is how I see when I record. And it's not full screen, and I, when I play by myself, I full screen, I just maximize it. But this is fine for recording. And then I just join a server, record, finish recording. When I do it, um, we'll just jump in my test world. When I record, oh, we got a spillage there. I press my record button, and then I'll wait for about a second or a few seconds. Just no noise. Just let the background noise capture in your microphone. And then I record three, two, one, and then I start. Now, the background noise at the start is so you can, um, I'll get out of Minecraft so it doesn't look laggy and crap to you. The background noise is so we can fix it in post editing, so we can, we can single it out and fix it. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do next. Oh, sorry. Uh, the rest of it, the three to one is so we have an easy point before we start our editing. So when we when we bring everything into Adobe Premiere, I can even show you that now. Come here, Adobe Premiere. So when we bring everything into Adobe Premiere, we have our video, our, uh, voice, and our speakers. All right, and then I have my music down here. Now my my editing is really simple. So these by default they're not linked up. So as you can see, see they're not touching each other. Now what I do, I go like this. And I go link, and that links them together. But sometimes you might not have points, especially when you edit your audio. Those points might not be there. But when you do your three, two, one, you can see it. You just you can see it when you know you need to do. And that's where you cut behind that to get rid of all the background noise and all that kind of junk you don't want on there. You're preparing, you're moving your microphone, whatever you're doing, before you get into your recording. Now, what I'll do is I've already recorded a little thing here. I'll just delete these files here because they were. I tried doing this before and it sounded like crap because of my cold. But yeah, so this is the output file right here. So what we do once we finish recording, we go right click on it and we go extract audio stream and it will pull out your you know channel one, channel two. So that's speakers and that's microphone. So if we you now drag this down to this program here, which is Audacity, which is absolutely free program, it is amazing. We want to make a copy so we don't edit our main audio. And here it is. This is what I did a test recording. And you can see here, this is my empty space. So you highlight empty space. Once you've got it into Audacity, you go effect. And then you go noise removal. And we want to get a noise profile. And what that does, it marks this area here as noise. That's good, right? That's perfect. Now if we listen to this, all you hear is my background noise. <laughs> you guys might not hear it. But it's just a background noise. So once we've done that, we unhighlight everything and we just go simply back to the effect, back to noise removal, not click removal. And we just want, you can preview it, 12, and it will record. See, and you can hear that there's no background noise anymore. So we just go, okay, and see, it removes all those extra peaks that we don't need that are the background noise. Now, I left, when I recorded it, I left my laptop running. My laptop is loud, if you don't know. It is very loud. It is actually, half the room away from me and you can still hear it in my recordings oh excuse me again so I left it on for this and I cleared it and all you do is go file export and you want to just save it there so save over your old one because all it is we've cleaned it up and okay that's done you're done guys I've showed you how to do it that's setting up DX Tori that's setting up Minecraft that's recording and that's post editing your audio all done in probably about a 10 minute video pretty good stuff right now if you have any trouble with any of these guys don't forget to hit me up uh, on Twitter or Facebook or all those things don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and thanks guys and see ya